What's up, YouTube? We're back in it for another one. You know what it is. It mean words. I bet to call it Dewey. Got a quick little gameplay here on Vault. And let me ask you guys a question real quick. This map, Vault. This map looks like it was ripped straight out of Modern Warfare Deuce, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm telling you, man. These maps. Either these maps are just way too big for 6v6. And they still don't work for 10v10 with how they're laid out. Or you got small shipment-like meat grinder maps. I'm tell I don't understand some of these people talking about the maps in their game and they're complaining about the community, complaining about these maps. And it's like, bro, have you played the maps though? Like you're defending the maps. Have you actually played them? I just, dude, I don't get it. This map is all kinds of ass. This map sucks. And look at this dude. He gets caught up in a mantle. Yo, the mantle over here. That's another couple things that are driving me crazy about this game. The mantle, like it's just so slow for how fast the game, the, like this game is so fast paced. And you got a slow-ass mantle like that where you can't do shit. When you're trying to call in your streaks, any of you guys notice this yet? Sometimes you got to push the button like 10 times for it to register for you to call in a UAV or whatever. Even over there in zombies when you're trying to hit the box. Like, it's just, you got a whole train behind you. You know, you're just trying to hit the box real quick to keep your train going. And then rotate back around and grab whatever weapon because you got no ammo or whatever it is. You're trying to get a better gun. And it's like, dude, it's, it, the game just doesn't want to pick it up. But we pick up all our streaks i really want you guys to pay attention to this gameplay because I, I talked about this in a recent video i don't know maybe like a week ago and i just showed you guys the screenshot of the scoreboard but this time we're going to show you some of that gameplay the gameplay the matchmaking solo matchmaking for a dude who just happens to be okay at the game coming home from work playing a couple games as we get one kill with the hellstorm i think that's one more kill than my chopper got yo the streaks over here are so ass dude as we get killed by this dark matter sweaty up there camping on the fucking balconies. The streaks over here are garbage. And they don't even let us loop them. Treyarch, what the hell happened, man? You guys remember Black Ops 2? The streaks we had Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4. Shit, even Black Ops 1. Compare those streaks to the streaks we got now. This ain't the same Treyarch, man. As we get killed by this dark matter sweaty. He's not camping, though. He's just playing smart. He's hiding because my chopper is still up. Even though it's not getting me no kills, it's it's up. Dude, it's, I've gotten killed a couple times by the chopper in this game because I have no respect for it, though. When when an enemy calls it in on me, I'll just run right out. I don't care, man. I'll shoot a couple bullets at it, whatever. I don't. I have no respect for it. The streaks in this game suck. But we're starting to get slapped around a little bit now as we get clapped again by this Dark Matter dude. This Dark Matter dude, he's going off in this game. So is his homies. I think he's in a party of three or four in this game. And the reason why I jumped in the 10v10 was because my very first game, this is my second game. This is my last game as well. I just jumped on for the two games. My first game, we got a 6v6 kill confirmed on Protocol. Protocol, another map that is complete ass over here in the Kakaduki. And look at the hit markers, man. Holy shit. See, like, we had a tight little start to the game. Look at this dude with the rocket raccoon fucking skin. We had a tight little start to the game. And it's like, now we're starting, we're starting to... It's taking a little longer to drop people, it feels like. A whole lot of hit markers going on in this game. But anyways, my first game on Protocol threw me into a game in progress. My first death was this dude running around as a goddamn shark. And of course, he had dark matter. My second death was to a dude. Look at the hit markers, man. Second death was to a dude running around with the rocket raccoon skin. He did not have dark matter, though. Well, he didn't have it on him at the time. And he had some type of blueprint. As we get smoked again, this dude, he doesn't have the dark matter, but he's close, though. He's got, what is that, the dark spine? You know, we got some people in here that know what they're doing over here in Call of Duty. They play this shit religiously. And as you can see, I'm pretty much the only dude on my team that's positive. Their whole team is going absolutely hams. Oh, they got one dude that's negative. One dude that's negative. Look at the score. We're getting absolutely destroyed. You guys know I ain't staying in that shit, man. Get me the fuck out of that. Jeez. That's some bullshit, bruh. What are they like? What do they expect you to do for us normies, right? Us casuals. Apparently, that's a bad thing if you're a casual gamer. It's like people like these sweaty nerds in the Call of Duty space. They look down on people like that. Like y'all are rooted the game. It's y'all motherfuckers out here taking pubs way too goddamn seriously. Soldiering for Activision, fighting for skill-based matchmaking, and hating on anybody who's circumventing this toxic, predatory matchmaking. Y'all are the fucking problem with this community. And these bots out here, swimming around in a little kiddie pool and their little furry bundles and shit, talking shit online. They never got to see a lobby like that, bro. 
They're never going to see somebody in their lobby once with dark matter camo. They're never going to have to run into that. Oh, you, you just don't want to play competition. No, bro. I don't want to come home from work and sweat in professional tournaments. And I'm not even getting fucking paid for it, dude. I'm just a normie. I'm just a casual who happens to be playing COD for a long time at this point. Like, I, I could just hold my own. And even still, I've not hit a point yet where I'm actually comfortable on this game. You guys have heard me say this on stream many times. I've talked to a few people about it. I can't figure it out, man. Because I'm tired of buying brand new PS5 controllers. Just PlayStation controllers in general. PlayStation controllers are some of the biggest scam in gaming. These controllers fucking suck, bro. I like the way they feel, like where the analog sticks are and shit. But they're garbage, man. They're a huge scam. So I went and I upgraded. Not long after Black Ops 6 launched, I got the DualSense Edge. And the reason why I got it is because you can buy the joystick modules and swap them out when you get that stick drift. Because I'm tired of buying these new controllers for over $100. That's what how much it costs up here. I'm tired of buying these bitch-ass controllers every couple of months, man. They, they don't build these controls. They build them so you break them. They don't build them for dudes who actually work with tools in their hands and shit that actually might have a, like a little bit of muscle or so. They don't make them for us, man. These controllers, they break so goddamn easy. So I bought the DualSense Edge for that reason. And the entire time I've had this controller, I have not felt comfortable once on this game. Before I got the controller, when Black Ops 6 dropped, I had stick drift on the controller. Got this one. I can't get comfortable, man. And that, and that really says something that I don't completely hate this game because I've never been comfortable on this game yet. But every time I get on, I'm messing around with the settings, man. I'm fucking with all the settings. Even on the PlayStation side of it, I'm messing with the settings for my controller in the game. And I just, like, sometimes, man, sometimes my aim is on point, you know, cooking a little bit out here. But other times, like, I feel like I can't aim at a bitch, man. I feel like a complete noob. Windshield wiper, the whole nine. I, I can't get comfortable on this controller. All y'all that have the DualSense Edge, did you have this problem? Did, did it take you a while to get used to? Like, I'm not, I'm not worried about the back paddles and stuff, right? Like, yeah, I've been using them a little bit, but, you know, I've years and years. And this is the first time I ever had back paddles on a controller, right? It's going to take me a long-ass time to get used to that shit. So it's, that's whatever to me. But just the aiming, man. I, I just I don't feel comfortable with the aiming in this game on this controller i just i can't get it right but anyways i'm getting a little sidetracked talking about this controller i guess it does have something to do with call of duty though because i can't get my aim right on black ops 6 at all it could be the controller it could be black ops 6 i don't know there's, there's some funky ass shit going on in this game and speaking of some funky shit the matchmaking over here is unacceptable like you come home from work and you play two games i just showed you and explained to you what my two experiences were what do you think that does for player retention, though? You want to talk about the fucking data and shit. You got all this data. What do you think I did after that game? I shut the goddamn PS5 off, cuh. You think I'm going to stay on a game with that shit? All of a sudden, like, you have a tight little start to your second sweaty game, and all of a sudden, it's like you're, you're getting more hit markers. Your whole team is fucking negative while you're up against a bunch of fucking beasts. Who wants to play a game like that? Who but like anybody who doesn't take these games all that serious? Like who we're talking about pubs, man. Like I can't stress this shit enough. We're talking about pubs. We ain't talking about shit else. We're talking about pubs. These motherfuckers out here fighting for skill-based matchmaking like this in pubs. You can't have matchmaking this strict with team balancing, lobby balancing this strict. It doesn't fucking work, Activision. Something's got to be done, man. The, the matchmaking in this game is diabolical. Miserable. The entire time, especially if you're a solo player, you're miserable the entire time you're on the game. And you wonder why we rant about this shit. Because we could have something here. That's all I got for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.